Is it wrong to defend yourself? Uh, you know, the Old Testament certainly seems to distinguish between Exodus chapter 22, whether burglar is killed in daylight or in the dark of night. Is violence ever justified? We're not going to go into all of that right now. It would be too long a lesson. But in the New Testament, there appear to be no exceptions. Let me say this again. In the Old Testament, the Jews were not allowed to practice violence in an unlimited way. There were very specific rules. Deuteronomy 20 is another chapter that comes to mind. But in the New Testament, it seems to be that there are no exceptions, not allowed to be violent at all. So failure to distinguish between the Testaments is really the heart of this interpretive crux. And certainly there are many passages in both Testaments that that do remind us of our need to be peacemakers. I mentioned already Matthew 5, Micah 6. How about that? He has showed you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God. James chapter 2. Judgment without mercy will be shown to anyone who has not been merciful. Mercy triumphs over judgment. If you want to pursue this subject of capital punishment more, I might invite you to watch the DVD series called Early Church History. David Brousseau is our keynote speaker. In fact, he does three of the lessons. It's about seven hours. You can order it through the main website. And maybe just as valuable as the lessons you'd watch are some 60 pages of notes, quotations. And you'll see how on so many positions, from modest dress to capital punishment and many things in between, the early church stood in a very different place than we do. Well, let's wrap it up here. In terms of crime and punishment, justice should be done on earth. It should be seen in this lifetime, though often it isn't. Regardless, ultimately justice will be served. Numbers 32, 1 Timothy 5, Revelation 14. The Bible assures us over and over, God is not soft on sin. The Bible urges us to follow the laws of the land. Christians should be law-abiding citizens except where these laws violate divine law. The early church believed strongly in justice. In fact, they were not unwilling to die for their faith. So it wasn't that they were just running away from things that scared them. They were willing to be involved in the issues and speak up. Strongly believed in justice, and yet they were adamantly opposed to the death penalty. Are you surprised? I was. But then knowing that Jesus is the Prince of Peace, perhaps I should not have been. So it wasn't that they refused to suffer death. Think of Paul, Acts 25, 11. He says, if I've done something wrong, I don't refuse to die. So he didn't reject the state's right to make its own laws. But that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about what states have the right to do. We're talking about what individual Christians do and think. The early Christians would have no part in killing Am I living and thinking more by an Old Testament morality or a New Testament morality?